Hello great people, African traveler again. So today we're going to explore Eldoret Town, the fifth biggest urban center in Kenya. It's one of the most cosmopolitan urban center in Kenya, uh, but predominantly dominated by the Kalenjin community. The Maasai originally referred to this area as Eldore, uh, literally meaning the Stony River after the nearby Sosiani River. Today, Eldoret is, is a thriving service town straddling the Kenya-Uganda highway, and it's the principal economic hub of Western Kenya. Approaching El Ditao, a lot of modern structures coming along the road. A lot of modern structures. And a uh, gas station or petrol station. Pioneer School. Some nice international school there. Eldoret is growing very fast. This is Pioneer School. Nice mall in Eldoret. One of the biggest, if not the biggest mall. It's called Rupa. This side is, uh, is actually the industrial side of the LDA. We get too many industries. Yep. We're going to meet the tallest building in Eldoret. So this road, so from here all the way to the CBD and past the CBD is where you find lots of these trucks and uh, they usually chalk the city in terms of traffic, especially on a weekday. It's crazy, it's crazy using this road. I really want to understand why the trucks haven't been pushed to use this the other road in the way it's clean, clear. So is it because of uh, Busi and Malaba are different? I'm not sure. The tallest building in Eldoret. It's called the Eldoret Daima Towers. It should be called. University Pension Scheme. This is the tallest structure. More University Pension Scheme Towers. Building. This is a big city. After Nakuru, LD is the next city. Most definitely. To be upgraded to a city status. One of the iconic church in Eldoret. Very symbolic to the city. Sacred Heart of Jesus Cathedral. So yeah, this is the city now. With the city. So you can see the number of trucks using the road. It's too many. It's one too many. So if you can reduce all these trucks. And this is a very slow day. This is you're still on the holiday. This is on the 26th. So it means that uh, this road, this town, still gets chalked with the trucks and the cars. Eldoret and the plateau around it has been occupied by the Sirikwa for several centuries prior to the era of the Maasai ascendancy. Innovation in weaponry was introduced by the Maasai era of the late 18th and 19th century. With new weapons and forms of governance, they swept down from their original homeland in the north, closer to Lake Turkana, down to their present homelands south of Kenya. The Maasai clan that took over the plateau are known as the Ilwasin Kishu, after whom it is presently named. In August 1908, 58 families of displaced Africana left Nakuru for Wasingishu Plateau after a journey from South 
Africa by sea and by rail from Mombasa, led by Jan Van. They traveled using wagons that would often stuck in mud, finally arriving at Sergoit Hill on the 22nd October of that year. Jan Anes would later own 2,000 acres of land, 5,000 acres Sergoit Farm, now owned by Sergoit Golf and World Life Resort. The land had earlier been surveyed by a certain Van Breda, and new arrivals took up leasehold of between 320 and 2,000 hectares or 805,000 acres of land, condition that they would develop it within five years. Each family built a shack, put up fences in burned oxen to simply plow and turn the fast farrow. They sowed wheat, maize, and vegetables. These actions laid to the foundation for the transformation of the plateau into a prosperous agricultural region. The farm were later officially registered and each were given a number. Although it was was established in the midst of farm they created on what was known as to the settlers as farm 6464 or Sisibo to the locals. Because of that time it was 103 kilometers or 64 miles from the newly built Uganda railway at Kibigori. The official town site started in 1910 with the development of a post office at Sisibo. This was followed shortly after by the arrival of 60 more Africana families in 1911. The governor decided to establish an administrative mm -hmm. center in the area in 1912. Thus, the post office was renamed to 64, to a new official town named Eldoret, becoming an administrative center, an enormous increase in trade, prospective city. A bank and several shops were built. Uganda Railway extension from Kibigori towards Eldoret reached Eldoret in 1924, starting a new era of prosperity and growth. In 1928, a pipe water supply from from Sosiani River was installed. In 1933, the East African Power and Lighting Company installed an electricity generator plant. By the time Eldoret had a small airport, a low-cost rental housing had also been constructed. In the 1950s, the town was literally divided along the main street, now Uganda Road, with Africaners on the north and the British on the south. The former took their children to Highland High School, now Moy Girls High School, and the British took their kids to Hill School. Recreation was also along the divide. British used the Lincoln Hotel and the rest course near the now Chinese area, while the Africana converged at the Wagon Wheel Recreation. building in the town, building on the left, the tall cream building on the left, here, here, oh, used, it's called KVDA, it used to be the tallest, this is called White Castle, <laughs> this, build, this white building here, it's called White Castle, they need to, to mark this road, it looks way cleaner than the last uh, time we visited it. Man, the markings, the road markings, man. Uh, Wasili cabs. The main cabs in the town, the main Uber. So we are passing in the middle of the town. Most of these places are usually Kapek. There's also a lot of a huge Indian community along uh, uh, this side of West Indies. On a, on a normal weekday, using this road is almost almost inaccessible because of the matatus. Today, this is a great privilege. You can see there's a lot of Indian Indian temples on both left and right. So there's a huge Indian population within the town, and they have an estate called West Indies.
Eldoret is a principal town in the Rift Valley region of Kenya and serves as the capital of Wasingishu County. The town was referred by the white settlers as Farm 6464 and colloquially by the locals as Sisibo. As per the 2019 Kenya Population and Housing Census, Eldoret was the fifth most populated urban area in Kenya after the four cities of Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu and Nakuru, lying south of the Charangani Hills. The population was 290,000 as of 2009 census, but currently, as of the 2019 population census, the population was 475,000 people. Eldoret was on the course to be named Kenya's fourth city, but was aged out by Nakuru in 2021. Eldoret is surrounded by prime agricultural lands and act as a trading center for Wasingishu County, which is driven by large-scale farming, dairy, and agricultural farming. The town is also a local manufacturing hub with a number of natural recognized manufacturing concern, including Ripley, Arupa Textile, Kenya Pipeline, the cooperative creameries, as well as a good number of maize and wheat manufacturing plants, as well as pyrethrum factories. The city is home to a large market and is known for the Doinho Lesos Cheese Factory, Mo University, and Eldoret International Airport. can see a lot of um, mechanical work, car mechanics, this side, this side of downtown. The market, a lot of, this is where you find a lot of textile. It's already crowded and it's not a busy day. <laughs> you can imagine on a busy weekday, it's crazy. There's small livers here on the right. Mm. The last time I drove here, I shot a video and we caught a thief. I didn't even see at that time, but while watching the video, I saw we caught a thief. <laughs> Still, Doret, Kenya's fifth biggest city. In terms of build up area, especially on the CBD, we have areas like Ruiru that probably has a bigger population uh, thanks to being very close to Nairobi. But in terms of uh, city status, city build up area, uh, Ruiru has nothing on Eldoret. Some of the oldest structure, White Castle building the white building here you see here on our right some of the tallest all the structures all there at police a central police post is on the left Ever since I grew up in this town, I've always had crazy traffic, crazy, crazy, crazy traffic. And uh, mostly due to all the trucks heading to Uganda, Congo, South Sudan, Uganda, mostly Uganda, all use this road to and fro. So the new bypass, as soon as it's uh, officially launched, it will greatly help to reduce the traffic. So the building you see ahead of us is like an 18 floor building, it's called KVDA, Kenya Tea Development Authority, something like that. Used to be the tallest structure in the city for the longest before the more university pension towers came up. And the story changed. 
So yeah, a lot of uh, infrastructure development uh, within the town uh, is visible. You can see there's a lot of infrastructure development within the town. Uh, I think um, the previous governor did a wonderful job, Mr. Mandago. The only thing that uh, was yet to be done was the marking of the road. So that would be a great plus. A lot of hotels on this lane. So Eldoret is uh, is well developed, well well built, but the infrastructure is usually the downside. As you can see, like uh, I would say, cleanliness is way better than uh, as compared to the last time we did a video here but the road marking is still uh, something to it's still a dream and you can see they were marked I think uh, they easily wear out because of the right the town probably received lots of rain yep this stretch uh, fish is being sold on all these places you see here. Now this is called West Indies. A lot of Indian uh, Indians live on this side of Eldoret. Uh, Kenyans of Indian. They say origin. <laughs> uh, yes. You can see even the buildings. But Kisumu, Kisumu is known to have more. new structures coming up you can see they normally they normally have very high raised fences <laughs> wow. some, some apartments coming up indies it's probably in uh, probably they came from the west side of India that's what I'm guessing Currently the estate is a bit of a mix, but uh, back then it used to be predominantly Indian. Uh, still probably still is. Did you know we had so much, all this is fish being sold here on your way to West Indies. Fish, fish. Huh? All this, it's, it's a fish joint. So uh, Eldoret is actually a very multicultural uh, town so yeah you find all the communities here because it's a major town but uh, the predominant community is the Kalinjin fourteen kilometers to Eldoret you need to take the turn to your way to Malaba Kitale Road huh? but still I can see most trucks using the Eldoret highway the reason I'm not sure you guys can give us why the reasons The runners from Eldoret have also contributed significantly to the economy of the town, primarily investing in small businesses and retail estate from their winnings in races all over the world. The city is host to Moi Barracks for the Kenya Defense Forces. The barrack has a memorial for Kenyan soldiers who died in Somalia. The city is also home to Kenya's Ordinance Factory. The city is also home to Kenya's Ordinance Factory Corporation since 1997 and military installation that is the only manufacturer of small arms and ammunition mm. in the region. Also within the town, the Toyota Susho Corporation built Kenya's first full-scale fertilizer the blending factory at Ngeria on the outskirts of Eldoret at a cost of about $15 million uh, with the capacity to produce up to 150,000 tons per year. Eldoret has traditionally not been known as a tourist destination and does not have much to differentiate it from other Kenyan's highland centers. 
Being Kenya's fifth largest city, however, it's a great deal and serve as a base for touring the North Rift circuit. The city has decent variety of accommodation option, notably the Sirikwa Hotel, Poor Place, Ultra Modern Boma, Ultra Boma Inn, as well as enough nightlife option to interest one for the evening or two. Surrounding regions has also largely grown into a sports tourism destination thanks to the number of renowned wild runners and high altitude that make the local area suitable for athletic training. Notable attraction within is distance to Eldoret include Nandi Hills area to the south and home to the Nandi. To the north lies the town of Iten, capital of Elgoyo Maraquet County and world's foremost source of elite middle and long distance runners. It is a popular destination for foreigners looking to hone their athletic talent. And at its high altitude training center, form part of a number of elite athletes training regimen. El Goyo Marroquette is also increasing, gaining a global reputation as a paragliding destination. It has become the place to go to fly 100 to 200 kilometers out and return. I will also consider Loret to be a town with one of the highest concentration of supermarkets per square mile within the country or probably within the region. Uh, this is a town where you'll find major malls such as Rupa Mall, Zion Mall, uh, 64 Arcade, Zuri Arcade, Barngetuni Plaza, among so many other supermarkets within the town. It also has a very vibrant nightlife in the city such as Club Timba, Tamasha, Area 54, Club 411, Signature Club, among so many others. Daniel Arap Moy, Kenya's second president, was born in the neighboring Baringo district and under his presidency the town was developed further. The country's second institution of higher learning, Moy University, was established by the government in 1984 and Third International Airport was subsequently constructed, significantly boosting the fortune of the town. By 1987, only two Africana households remained in Eldoret, with the rest having moved back to South Africa in the late 1950s and early 1960s in the aftermath of the Mau Mau Rebellion in anticipation of independence. The city was significantly impacted by the 2000 and 2008 Kenya's crisis when violence gripped Kenya in the aftermath of the controversial general election. The current president, William Ruto, also was born in Kamagut Ward of Tarbo constituency that straddles Eldoret Town. He previously represented Eldoret North constituency in Parliament. Eldoret is also known to be a go-to place for medical facilities. Uh, this being for the fact that it was the only town outside Nairobi with the biggest referral hospital in the country for the longest time. And with that grew so many other specialty hospitals within the town, such as Cancer Health Center, other specialty uh, health facilities within the town. And in the bigger and the larger Western Kenya region, Eldoret is a to-go-to place for people seeking health and medical facilities. So we come to our end of our trip today. I hope you got enlightened. I hope you learned something. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And don't forget to share. And also, you can also support us on Patreon. You can also be a member to help us travel this country and show you different places and different history of the different places that you guys would love to see. So have a prosperous and uh, blessed 2023 and uh, see you on the next one. Thank you.